So in a situation where we are, where we are, we are still trying to address our manpower needs, we've had to reorient how we look at dealing with using police resources efficiently. Now, last year there were about 6,900 traffic accidents. In some years, we've gone as high as almost 9,000. If you work through it in your head, the, the police officer gets a call, there's an accident someplace. Um, so the, the use of police manpower begins from the moment that call is received. Then you have to allocate police officers um, to go to the accident. Uh, those police officers may already be at another, um, at some other kind of investigating, some other kind of thing, a burglary, whatever it is. But the police officers have to go there, they have to be with traffic. They have to spend time, they have to take statements, all this kind of stuff. Um, then, of course, they go back to the station, they have to make, prepare five reports, uh, have a help them if a police report is required. On average, it will take between 10, sometimes as much as 20 man hours for police to service a single accident scene. So if, with, if you would do the simple maths, last year we had 6,900 accidents, 6,900 plus. So let's run it off at 7,000. And if each of those accidents takes 10 man hours, and it can take more because you have two police officers come, sometimes you need more than that, depending on if traffic is, is blocked. So you, we would, at the very least, dedicate 70,000 police man hours in a year investigating or attending to traffic accidents. Now, you may say that that is, that is an important part of public service, it certainly is. But in a situation where we are dealing with a deficit in terms of, of the, the boots we have on the ground, we need to see how we can more efficiently utilize police resources so that they can spend their time, dedicate their time dealing with the, the, the more serious offences, and immediately, of course, guns and homicides, burglaries, those kinds of things will come to mind. So this is a proposition from the police service that um, I, as AGI support, um, I'm happy to say that the insurance industry supports it. And my mission here really is to ask Barbados to, to walk with us through this. It represents a complete transformation from what we are accustomed to. But it is a transformation that I think is in the best interest of the society. If we have police officers standing, um, dealing with a fender bender, and we all see them, a bumper, get a little paint, traffic blocker, people standing up waiting for the police to come. And then people who have more serious issues want to know, well, why the police take so long to get here? I, I hear about shooting in, uh, in my neighborhood, and they call the police, and, and they take two hours before they come. There's a good chance that some of those officers who might have been required to respond to your particular more serious issue is standing up dealing with somebody who ran into the back of somebody's car, and so on. In the vast majority of cases, they do not result in prosecutions because they are simply accidents. You prosecute people for a willful default, for, for, for culpable activity. But we are engaging police to, to come and investigate accidental conduct, conduct that is in absolutely no way associated with criminality. So in circumstances where the vast, and, and by vast, and, uh, I want a word that is even more than vast, okay? The, 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 the superabundant majority of cases do not result in prosecutions. So those 10 or 15 or 20 man hours of police in time that do not make their way into the court ends up being nothing but a statistic. So at this juncture, um, uh, I think that the public needs to understand that we're not, we're not throwing them to the wolves. And, uh, and I, I don't think I need to reiterate um, the criteria, but fatalities, that's a must. Serious accidents, yes. Now, I know somebody will ask, well, how serious is serious? It's, it's, it's a slippery slope. It's difficult to define. Oh, yeah. A serious injury is one where a person needs to be hospitalized due to fractures, concussion, internal injuries, crushing, serious cuts, 
and lacerations or severe general shock requiring treatment. Now in instances like that, a person who is, is seriously injured is not going to be able to likely have the presence of mind to be calling insurance and to be dealing with all those kinds of things. It's important then for the police to come and safeguard that person of their interest. But for the most cases, for the most part, um, we consider that that police attention will not serve the public good. And in fact, the commissioner may well tell you about the thousands of police reports that they have sitting um, gathering dust um, that people order but don't even bother to come and collect. Even the preparation of police reports takes up hours and hours of, of police manpower time. But just to underscore the point that this is all part of an initiative to, to have the Barbados Police Service be more modern in its approaches, um, reposition itself so that it is better able to deal with the serious issues that affect our society. If we can take 70,000 man hours, if we can take, even, even if we can take 45,000 man hours out of accidents and put them into dealing with gangs, put them into dealing with drugs, guns, uh, we think that that is a better value proposition for the benefit of the people of Barbados.